Why is that woman told you, Corey Holcomb? This girl told me that she loved me, and I think that's the most <laughs> fucked up lie Why? that she could ever run <laughs> on a man. For real. You think that she... You're playing not... with people's emotions. How do you know she didn't love she you? She might yeah. love you. You're charming, how do you know dude? she didn't mean that? How, do, how, how do you know that? I don't know her. I ain't never did right by her. <laughs> I wouldn't even drink water at her crib. Corey, you don't oh. deserve love. You don't deserve love, Corey. <laughs> what? Everybody <laughs> deserves love. Yeah, everybody <laughs> deserves love, I guess. But so not you didn't a... believe it. That's... Corey, we might have a, a little breakthrough show here right now. No, you can't tell people you love them. That yeah. is the most evil shit to say to somebody you don't love. Really? Well, Corey, you know uh, what? You Corey, you know what? I love you. Uh, oh, now, I see, you. that's what no, I'm that's saying. I believe you more no. than I believe old girl. Right. <laughs> now, that's not good. <laughs> oh, actually, she might love you because you're married. What? Oh, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Good one. Good one. That's what it is. Good it's one, like, yeah. They want to see <laughs> how they can puppet you into all that Stop shit. Stop taking. That's Use okay. Word, that's love. all right, Shelly. We'll talk about when, when we're at the you, club tonight. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, John from California, welcome to the show. Damn, Shelly. And how y'all doing? Shots fired. Right? We're Good. great. Hey, Corey, you a fool, dog. I just want to let you know that. Um, Pray for me. Pray for me. All the time. All the time. But you got to keep it 100, my dude. Oh, you know I am, man. All the time. Hey, but real talk, the biggest lie a female ever told me, homie, was she only had one kid. Come to find out she got like three kids, homie. I'm like, wow. I mean, how do you, how do you lie about your kids? You know what I'm saying? Like, that. That's bullshit. Like, I got a son right now. I would never tell a female, oh, I don't have no kids. I love my son to death. You know what I'm saying? And if a motherfucking female don't want to fuck me because I got a son, well, motherfucking kick rocks then. Fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> that's shit. That's like real talk. Flowery, yeah. type I mean, stuff. Like, where are the kids hiding? I, I, I can I tell how many kids you got by how your stomach looks. Wow. Yeah. one girl, her stomach looked like some balled up homework, so I knew she had like three, four kids. I want to know how he found out that she had two other oh, kids. No. Ask him. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Wait, how did you find out she had two other kids? Because we fucked around and I got her pregnant, right? And then she told Damn. me after she was pregnant. Mm. I can't be having another kid because I got Were the kids with, like, their their father or something? She couldn't have another abortion because her limit was up at the clinic. They yeah. were like, look, this is malpractice if exactly. I do another one, bitch. Like, I already been to Van Nuys. I've been to Van Nuys, uh, Burbank. I, I could get arrested if I snatched another one of these motherfuckers out there. All right. Thank you for the call. Okay. Yes. Mm. Uh, I had a guy lie to me about the number of kids he had. I, told, I lost total respect for him. He told me he had two kids. And come to find out, he had four kids, and he had a Ooh. wife and a girlfriend. Wow. Ooh. And I was more mad. I expected the girlfriend or the wife thing, but to tell, to lie on your kids like that, like, that just wasn't, you know, you, you're not really having faith in what I can handle with you. And I was just like, how you Did he have sex with you? Yeah. Mission accomplished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They were dated for a while. He yeah. did what he had to he, do to he get did. that thing. He did, about. right. <laughs> okay, we wow. have DJ. I ain't got no kids. <laughs> <laughs> But he said two already, so he might as well go with the whole four. I got know. a couple of kids. Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay, we have know, I don't get that. DJ from Iowa. Welcome to the show. Hi, how you doing? Hey, 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 hey DJ. Oh, Iowa. Hey, how's it going? Good. How you feeling? Yeah, I... comment or question? My comment was about respect. I don't know. I'm just hearing y'all comment, and I'm just sitting here talking with my guys, and I was telling my guys about how I feel about if I should cheat on a woman. And I'm with the woman. My thing is about respect. So if I cheat on her, I don't want her to know about it. So it's called respect when I do cheat on her. And in regards mm -hmm. to that means that I don't keep it. It don't come to her. So I ain't finna tell her, hey, I just went out and fucked your girlfriend. My thing is, if I live in Iowa City, I'm going to go to Chicago and fuck off. Or better yet, it's just going to be on the south side of town. Whereas it won't be You're going to be in the respect section of hell. <laughs> respecting would be not to do it at all. So because you respect your girl, you're going to fuck one of her homegirls, but you ain't going to tell her. You're going to keep it on the like another city because you respect her. I respect you too much to let you know who I am. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, Cam, how do you feel about that? Man, Take, nah. Tina? You know? No, you know I, don't, I, I don't agree. My ex, uh, a long time ago, he had keys to another female's house and lied to me and told me that was his second apartment. And, <laughs> and I really believed him. But, but uh, it, was. it really was his second it apartment, was. Tina. <laughs> I, I believed him and everything. I, you know, I used to go over there. He would go pick up stuff. and go. Yeah, it was all bad. And then the girl came out one day, and I was like, who is that? And then it just all went downhill. <laughs> I think you should feel and more then I insulted. And four years after that. You should feel more <laughs> insulted that he tried that lie on you. That means he felt like he could get away with that with you. So that's you something you should 
girl, think about. you really would have been mad. That makes Ooh. you even mad. Yeah, yeah, exactly, bro. That bitch had a crib, though. <laughs> <laughs> and he was living in it. <laughs> right. So, right. So, Corey, does that mean he didn't value Tina as much as the ugly bro with the crib? The, hey, girls with cribs are valuable nowadays mm-hmm. in these hard economic times. Yeah, I was told I had to have the three C's <laughs> uh, in order to get what to do. What's that? Car, cable, and a crib. Mm. Okay. We have from Philly, Shaq Black. Welcome to the show. Shaq Black. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? Hey. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to make a comment on uh, females being the most vicious liars that uh, God has ever created. And I'm going to explain that. Whatever. Um, y'all wake up in the morning, y'all put this makeup and eyelashes and fingernails and all this and go outside to these clubs and these men meet y'all. And they think y'all the most beautiful things in the world. And then when y'all take all this stuff off, y'all look like short or something. And I don't appreciate that. I go in the club and over, I come there with... Yeah, I mean, my my facial features, and I come there with my body built the way it is, and you see me for what it is. But y'all see me, y'all come in there with all these things, these gadgets, the push-up bras, and now they got these stuff to help your ass out. Y'all not real, and y'all the most vicious liars God ever created. Shut up. Claudia, you should do a show like that. How many men get a chance to see their woman how she really looks yeah, without the accessories? Uh, you're right. After it's they rare. Marry them. Right. What about <laughs> men lying in clubs, popping bottles Thank and shit, you. wearing all their fake jewelry? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know? Those are rat traps. If you pop a bottle in a club, all the women that come over there are rats. <laughs> <laughs> Those are rat traps. Men lie, too. Damn it. They do. I, I was with a, a young man, and it took a while, of course, you know, before I finally went home with him. But anyways, when I got there, I, I <laughs> I unclipped my hair. I unclipped my hair. I took the um the cutlets out and I wiped up the eyebrows and I we was we was out of town. Like whatever, it was late, like four in the morning. Where are you gonna go? Anyways, I took all of them like thinking I'm coming to you real and then he's like, You forgot the lashes. I say all that shit was on the dress and I'm like, Well what wow. you, I mean, you gonna go somewhere? <laughs> They, you can still take all that stuff down. They ain't going to go anywhere. They're still they ain't cool gonna with it. Mm-hmm. Until they get that no, thing, no, you can be a Forrest Whitaker looking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if he ain't hit it yet, mm-hmm. he going to stick around. The best part is, is they'll still do you. They'll still do yes. you. Yes. Okay, we have cool. Shep from Maryland. Welcome to the show. They won't Shep. be proud as they were at first. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, since yeah. I'm over here. I'm <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, welcome. Hello? Hey. Hi. Hey. What up, dude? What's up, Kevin? Hey, how you doing? This, this is Chef. Well, first let me just break off telling y'all this. I'm a female, right? I'm a lesbian, right? What? So, oh, God damn, you got one, get two, that frog out testosterone's your going on. I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. So the biggest lie a girl ever told me was that she was... <laughs> this ain't no woman. <laughs> what? No, listen. <laughs> go ahead, Weezy, go ahead. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Come okay. on. Okay, now. Nah. So the biggest lie... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, uh, on, Come the on. biggest lie a girl ever told me was that she was gay, so I could go down on her. But I, I ain't do the shit because I just don't do that. Like the people I don't know, I don't know why they think we default coochie eaters around this bitch. I ain't eating anybody coochie. <laughs> it's crazy. She's like, yeah, I'm gay. Yeah, I've been gay. Yeah, I'm like, okay, so you know, I asked her a couple questions and shit. Like, you know, you ever been to a parade <laughs> or a gay club? And she was like, nah, I'm that's too gay. I'm like, okay, well you ain't gay. Get out of my house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They be dealing oh, wow. with dudes. Right. right. Are you a broad or a dude? Really, really. <laughs> tell the truth. Let's yeah, be honest. I, I'm so serious. I, I, I'm actually a comedian in the Washington, D.C. area. My name is... Oh, well, there you go. Let's plug What's your side. name, for real? <laughs> what? Let's plug. What, who are you? Who is Teddy Carpenter? <laughs> you know, this is not Teddy Carpenter. This is not Teddy Carpenter. <laughs> this is no not, cop. Yeah. All right. I, I, yeah, I mean, I... What do you got? Titty's a ball. I mean, seriously, he's got both. Right. You got to you got to go in gay bars because if you talk to a dude in a regular bar, you get your ass with <laughs> that boy. Why would, right. to, why would I talk to a dude? I'm gay. I know, <laughs> but you're a gay chick that doesn't eat coochie. I don't get it. Right. That right. makes no sense. You're a failure at being gay. Seriously, you're like he's an angel high. that smoke weed. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, Chef, Ship, whatever the hell your name is. She, really, she ain't the feminine one. No. We Thank you, Hermaphrodite. We're going to take a yeah. break. Uh, yeah, uh, our topic tonight, love lies and rumors. Has a rumor or lie ever ruined your relationship? We got special guest, Corey Holcomb, in the studio. Uh, 877 is the number. What's up with him? <laughs> oh, it's like gonna... wearing rubbers with your wife. Right, you know. it is. What's wrong with that? Oh, my God. We'll be back with more right after the break. Exactly.